Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Business Minute. My name is Sir, and today I have another special guest who I'll let them introduce themselves, if they would. Yo, what it do is DT on the bad guy. All right, DT. And uh, if you don't mind me asking, how long have you been active, bro? Been active for uh, about 10, 10, 12 years. All right, awesome, awesome, awesome. Long time. Now, uh, I wanted to ask you, just like I ask everyone else, uh, what inspired you to start? Uh, I was inspired by this, uh, this uh, local, well, I'm going to call him a local celebrity, see now the frozen child. He inspired me All right. uh, from my city to do what he do is also what I do. So okay. that's how I got started. Shout out to see now. Shout out to see now. All right. Now, uh, along the way, you know, with, with everything you have to work for, uh, what obstacles did you encounter along the way? I mean, you meet people, you know what I'm saying, certain people that will or will not, you know what I'm saying, help or support you. So, you know, you, you got to deal with, you know, ciphering certain people out there, it's depending on the situation, what you're trying to do with it, you know what I'm saying, how serious the next person might be that's trying to help you, you know, so you got to deal with all that kind of stuff. Okay, okay. And now that brings me to my next question, which is really important, especially in the music business, with it being basically a full-time thing. Uh, how do you manage to balance work and personal life? That's a tough one, you know what I'm saying? But it gets done. You just gotta, you just gotta know when to put aside the time for what you, what the dream you're chasing versus what's real right now as far as life goes. So work has to get done. You know, bills got to get paid, so you got to work for it. But if you, had, if you investing in a dream, that you can't just not do it because it's not primary for it. So you got to make some kind of time for it. I heard that. I like that answer. I like that answer. All right. So that brings me to one of my favorite questions. Uh, over the last 12 years with being an artist, uh, what experience do you find to be the most memorable? Is there anyone that stood out? It's a few. Most My most memorable one, I want to say, is like, uh, <clears throat> let me see, about, about a year ago, actually. Like when I got on stage, I was off stage for a minute. You know, just didn't look like, like what you're talking about. Got back on stage, you know, not not thinking I would get, you know, accepted the way I did. But the way I did, though, it made me like, okay, this is what I need to be doing. Yeah, I understand uh, that validation you feel when the, when the crowd receives you. I totally get right. it. I totally get it. All right. Now, on the flip side of that, and, and this is part of the struggle portion, of, of starting out by yourself uh, at any point did you feel that you wouldn't be successful and if so who or what changed your mind oh of course like you don't you don't feel like that especially coming out of mobile when you're dealing with the support and you're dealing with the favoritism and all that knowing what a talent that you no know, talent don't really get support the popularity get support mm. so dealing with that yeah of course well, I ain't even gonna make it out the city so I'm gonna blow but you gotta you know what I'm saying? Keep that in mind. Like, hey, if this is something I want to do, something I love, you got to chase it. So what changed that for me is, honestly, industry music because it's not the same. I was born in 91, so it's definitely not the same. Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm like, man, I need to hear real on the radio again. I'm saying I'm the only one that can do it. I know I can do it. All right. All right. Now, DT, that leads me to my next question. Uh, where would you like to see yourself in one year? three years and then 10 years in one year i want to see myself being recognized within not not just in my city within not not just in the region i'm talking about recognized like if i was an opening act for like a big artist or something like that that kind of recognition within a year three years hmm, somewhat established i want to be somewhat established okay and investing in other stuff you know that comes with entertainment like clothing uh, other artists, you know, stuff like that. Ten years, I want to be in the same boat. My favorite artist, J. Cole, and All right, do yeah. whatever he want, whenever he want. Mm -hmm. then, I heard that. All right. Now, and that brings me to my number one favorite question. Uh, what words of encouragement would you have for someone else who's just starting? Simple. If it's a dream of yours and you you want to chase it, you really love it, you got it. You can't. I don't care what nobody say. It happens. Don't give up on it. Chase it. Chase it. it will, you will catch it. Keep chasing it. 
Awesome. Perfect. All right, DT. Now, if anybody wanted to get in contact with you or, you know, hear your body of work, how could they get in contact with you? Oh, you look me up on Facebook, you know, Instagram, SoundCloud, wherever, at DTM underscore official. You're going to find anything you need, videos, music, whatever. All right. Well, awesome. Well, brother, I, listen, I appreciate the opportunity, again, to tell your story. Uh, it's always a, a passion of mine to help anyone else out in the city. It really means a lot that you took time out to let us interview you. Thank you again, brother. Almost deaf. All right. For being on our podcast, please email us at 2020datingpodcast at gmail.com. Again, that's 2020datingpodcast at gmail.com. Or contact us via Facebook. Thank you. Have a great day.